Hello, my name is David Sumner, and I will be your mayor. I served three terms on the Valdosta City Council. While serving, I held the position of Mayor Pro Tem and was elected mayor by my fellow council members after the death of then Mayor James H. Blakewater. I've made many visits to Washington, D.C. to lobby on behalf of the city of Valdosta and attend meetings at the Pentagon with Parker Green for support of the Moody Air Force Base. I obtained a certification of achievement presented by the University of Georgia and Georgia Municipal Association for completion of the Harold F. Holtz Municipal Training Institute for elected officials. I attended and completed the prestigious Leadership Institute for Municipal Elected Officials at the University of Georgia. Today, as a volunteer, I serve as president of the Southern Commission's two leading nonprofit corporations. The board lends to businesses within an 18 county area in South Georgia. This past year, ending June the 30th, the total volume for the year was $16,521,000. There were 160 jobs created or saved. 71 of those were in Lowndes County. I understand job growth and development. Now let's get down to business. When I left the meeting with Captain Walden, Chief Statistician of the United States Office of the President, in which she informed Mayor Rainwater, the city manager, and myself about us the status as a metropolitan statistical area, we were excited beyond belief. Our city was alive, and people were excited about our community and what it could offer. There was opportunity to root, to, there was room to grow and succeed. I envisioned Valdosta competing with Savannah, Columbus, and Macon. Today, we're having a hard time doing so with Tifton and Moultrie. Today, our household income is $40,391, compared to a peak in 2008 of $48,019. Our per capita income is down, and many other categories that measure success are down. Numbers that should be down are up, and numbers that are up should be down. Many of the same areas that received MSA status when we did are ahead of us. Brunswick, 43,000. Hinesville, 49,000. Warner Robins, 54. I believe in free enterprise, and small business is the foundation and fabric of our city. City government must encourage businesses to grow and not hinder those opportunities. It must serve as a catalyst to prepare growth rather than obstruct. We have many pressing issues today. If you do not recognize these issues, how can you leave? Some of our authorities are operating under outdated models. If progress is not achieved, lack of change is inevitable. I say we look for partnerships outside the norm. We must be concerned about health care, industrial growth, and jobs. We must work with the county and conclude the service delivery plan. I am the only candidate who served on the first and last team to deliver such a plan. This election may be the most important election in our lifetime. Our city has struggled over the past years. Mayor John Dale has done an excellent job of leading this city. He came in during a difficult time. John brought a calming effect to our city. He cooled down many hot items and helped bring the people together. For that, I am grateful to Mayor Dale. It's an honor to have been raised in Valdosta. No matter where I go, I'm proud to call Valdosta home. Our legendary Valdosta high coach, Nick Hyder, taught us about winning and laid out the foundation of leadership and teamwork, two principles that I've always applied to my daily life. When elected mayor, I'll work hard as a team leader and actively lead this city, working with the city council and all citizens to make Valdosta the very best it can be. This election is not about one issue or one set of ideas. It's about our future. Our city is at a crossroad. And experienced leadership can take us down the wrong path. We must move forward. I have the experience and the knowledge of city government to help all of Valdosta for job growth, prosperity, low property taxes, and an improved quality of life. Vote for me. David Sumner for me. When elected, all neighborhoods and all voices will be heard. Working together, we can build a better Valdosta. Thank you.